You can get a higher salary with basic experience, and it probably won't take as long as you think. Currently, the average salary in the United States is $59,000 a year. I wanted to get an idea on what experience the average American adult has in this country, and I did a little bit of research. I found over 10 million people have worked either as a cashier, stocking associate, janitor, or waiter. And you can leverage that type of experience to compete for federal government jobs on usajobs.gov. And many people don't know about this, and many people do not do this because they think you need a college degree to get the job. 80% of government jobs, they don't require a degree at all. That means you can have a high school diploma, or maybe you can have a GED matched up with your experience and still apply and compete for a lot of these government jobs. I'm gonna go through each one of these jobs to show how you can use the experience you already have. The first one we have is the cashier. As a cashier, you have customer service experience. You have those communication skills, conflict resolution skills. You've dealt with angry customers, right? Same thing when it comes to data entry. You've entered data. You did payment processing. You process returns. You have that experience also. Expense tracking. You're doing cash management. You have your special discounts. You're applying different promotions. You're doing account reconciliation, right? If your cash register is short, you have to figure that out. You have to make sure that the amount meets what is required. All of that, you're using math skills. You're using soft skills. You're using communication skills. All of those type of things. For this experience, I would look at the 0503 job series, which is in the finance field. Let's take a look at this job announcement. It's a financial technician position with the Department of Navy with a salary between $42,000 and $55,000 a year. And the experience that you need, it lines up with what you already have. It mentions systems, resolving problems for review, and customer service. This gets you in at the GS6 level, and every 12 months, you're gonna be eligible to apply to the next GS grade, and you'll skip GS8 and 10. So that means after three years, you're gonna be at the GS11 level. And a GS11 in a major city, that goes all the way up into the six figures. This job is also open to the public. So it's not just for people that have government experience. It's not just for veterans. Anybody with a citizenship can apply to this job. Now, if you're still looking for a federal government job, every week I email a list of virtual federal hiring events. And if you're interested in that, then sign up for my free newsletter down below. The next job is a janitor. Many people look down on a janitor or a custodial worker and they feel like it's beneath them, but you still get a lot of skills, a lot of transferable skills if you work as a janitor. And the first one is inventory management. You're keeping track of all the supplies. Maybe it's cleaning supplies. Maybe it's landscaping supplies. Whatever it is, there's a system for tracking it. You're documenting it. You're reviewing it. You're evaluating it. You're ordering supplies. You're also managing work orders. When there's a special job or special attention is needed in an area, there's a work order submitted. There's a tracking system for that. There's a way that you're prioritizing what work order to go out and do. And with every operation, there should be a handbook. There should be an SOP. There should be a policy that governs it. And if you can put yourself in a position where you're assisting in formulating that policy, you're assisting in creating that handbook, that's additional experience that you can leverage. All right, so for this experience, I would look at the 0301 job series. Take a look at this job announcement. It's an administrative support specialist position with the Department of Army. Has a salary between $53,000 and $84,000 a year. That's a whole lot better than your standard average U.S. janitor position, which pays about $30,000 or $35,000 a year. The experience you need includes maintaining records, utilizing office software, and coordinate staff actions. Now with the coordinating staff, this doesn't mean that you need to supervise staff or you have to have experience managing staff. Coordination is different. So if you're a janitor and you need to clean the gym, you have to coordinate with the coach of the gym. You have to coordinate to make sure nobody's there so you can clean it between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. That in essence is coordination. That is the skill that you would emphasize in your resume. Next we have a restaurant waiter. With this one, you have to make sure that the restaurant is meeting compliance. There's health regulations. And as a waiter, you're kind of observing the area and you're making sure that your area at least is meeting that compliance level. That's one thing. Then you have record keeping. So when there's a customer complaint and you're making a note of it, 
That is record keeping. You also use it for tracking orders. There's payment processing, there's cash, there's credit. Sometimes there's a change issue, so you don't wanna downplay this. You have this experience. There's time management. How are you going to manage all of the tables that you have? You have three, four, five different tables. You need time management skills to be efficient in that area. All right, so with this experience, we're going back to the 0301 job series. Let's take a look at this job announcement here. It's an administrative support specialist in the Department of Interior with a salary between $38,000 and $75,000 a year. This is a promotion ladder position, so you can ride this thing all the way up to GS9, and then 12 months after that, you can start applying for GS11 positions. The experience you need here is pretty basic and includes analyzing problems, plan and organize work and communication. This job right here, it's in Kansas, but you can find hundreds of jobs on usajobs.gov across the country if you search in the 0301 job series. All right, the next job we have is the stocking associate. For this one, you have experience with inventory management. There's software used to manage inventory. So what I would do is ask your supervisor or ask your manager, can you assist? Can you observe? Can you do something with that software to give you more experience managing the inventory? Another thing is order processing. You have scheduling, you have rescheduling. When's the truck coming? When am I getting the stuff off the truck? Take a look at this job announcement. It's an inventory management specialist position in the veteran affairs with a salary between $48,000 and $76,000 a year. The experience you need here is maintaining inventory accounts, purchase card program, researching and analyzing information to resolve questions. You can probably make the experience on your resume fit this area. And that's what this whole thing is about. You look at your experience, you look at the specialized experience. You're gonna have to change it somewhat. You're gonna have to tailor it. That means swapping out some words. Maybe you have to swap out a couple of nouns or verbs. Use synonyms. I'm not saying fabricate your background, but look at how it's written and what they're looking for. And when you dive deep into your previous experience, when you start to give yourself credit for things, that maybe previously you didn't give yourself credit for, you can write yourself a competitive resume to compete for a lot of these federal government jobs. If you're still interested in a government job, maybe you want something that lines up perfectly with the administration because that's where your experience is. If you want to know more about government jobs in administration and how to get it, I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.